Assembling a Rikon Bandsaw from Woodcraft, William Hovey Smith, 2020. I'm an author, and I've done a number of outdoor books, and also a business book, Create Your Own Job Security. In this book, I advocate that you start your own business anytime, anywhere, at any age, when you need to raise a little money, like maybe right now, and help you select exactly what that business should be. This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And I'm about to unpack and erect a Rikon bandsaw. Uh, this particular saw is one commonly sold by woodcraft stores nationwide. And it replaces an old craftsman saw that was well, just giving me so much trouble and causing so much continuous repairs that it was just time for somebody else to own it. So, this thing arrived yesterday. It weighs 77 pounds out of the box, about 80 odd pounds in the box. So we're going to unpack it. Obviously, it's in pieces. So we're going to see what we got. And I'll show you how it looks so you can get an idea about how you might need to handle it if you get one. Now I already have a stand and it is laying on the stand as you will see. The saw is actually made in China and if you don't read either French or Spanish it's a deluxe 10 inch bandsaw. has a five year guarantee, 77.5 pounds. And that's what a thing looks like, supposedly. So hopefully when we erect it, we will get something that looks similar to that. Now it's shown on that illustration with a fence already installed, uh, with a good long table, and we'll see what we got. We have inside a manual, which is nice. Or capture. Well, this is the fence, so yes, it does have one. A molded styrofoam. Now it looks sort of like it's in a coffin. All right, at least we can tell which end is up now. This is the saw table itself, which is heavy. Now this weighs about 15 pounds by itself. There's so much weight differential between the top and the bottom, it looks like we're going to be able to just tip it up and scoot it back at the same time. And we'll see how that occurs. Uh, we're having a little rain outside, so that's the other noise you hear.
Yeah, it'll move. Let's go. We'll have some extra parts. Bracket, slide, and release for the fence. Tools and screws. Now we'll get rid of all this packing debris and so we can proceed further. I have some quarter inch bolts left over from my previous building project, but they're obviously overly long. But we're going to hack them off and use these to mount the bandsaw on our table. We've taken our cutoff bolts here in just a second or two on the grinder and domed the ends there so the nuts and washers would fit in more easily. And now we're going to drill the holes. I'm going to start with this corner hole and get that one set before we start on the others. And this is a quarter inch. Although they don't mention it, you have to remove this knob, which the door opening knob, so that you can actually set this corner screw. Lining up these holes was almost impossible from underneath, especially for one guy. So uh, what I did is just take the holder bracket off, and now I believe they will go much easier. But you can see what you're doing. Now the challenge is to feed this bolt through this hole without pushing it all the way in and have to dismount it again. If you get it right the first time, uh, consider yourself fortunate. See what happens here. Now that the table is on, uh, we have attached the fence holder, which is here. And there are two knobs underneath that you use right here. To hold it on. This part is called a table leveler and I'm not quite sure of its function but it goes through here this is the attachment for the fence It has a rather robust clamp here that locks it when you put it in place. So you put it in the guides and push it down firmly. It doesn't click or anything, but it does lock. This allows you to put your fence in either of two positions. This is for ripping, I suppose, and this one here for ordinary use. You need to allow for clearance 
for these bolts. So this slides in here and then you tighten up on the back and your fence is installed. So now we have something that works very very well. Well, no, I <laughs> ain't going anywhere. The last thing to be attached is this large knob here which has this key so it fits only one way and that's for tensioning your blade and it just rests on top. We have completed assembly of our new bandsaw. Uh, we don't have any parts left over which is a good sign. The other tools needed to put this thing together you need a Phillips screwdriver you also need a drill and screws to mount it to your bench or table. Otherwise, everything is fairly well furnished. We're ready to make our first serious cuts with the saw. I've already cut a few blocks of spruce here. And yeah, everything's set up right. I did have to adjust the position of the table so that the blade here was exactly centered and it is, and it has the right amount of flex, and this stabilization screw goes this way instead of the other way around. We found that out. When we turn it on, the saw itself runs very, very quietly. So this is a piece of wood I'm going to cut. If you don't recognize it, it's uh, olive wood, and it's cut as an outline of a of the island of Sicily and I am going to recut it now into strips that I can make knife scales out of. Well, not the best job I've seen, but not because of anything having to do with the saw, because of just my skill, or lack of it. The reason I'm cutting up this particular piece of wood is that whilst I was in Italy, I could not bring back raw, unprocessed wood. So this was the best I could do to get knife scales to make a knife for Luigi the Claw a character that's going to be in my novel, screenplay, and movie, Father of the Grooms. But now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. At its present price of about $400, this is an appropriate bandsaw for the person who works small pieces of wood like I do as a knife maker. Now, I think its most valuable attribute is it comes with a really good manual that you should read. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 825 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviasmith.com. For details about my business books, go to createyourownjobsecurity.net. To find out more about my novel, screenplay, and movie project, go to fatherofthegrooms.com. Hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Goodbye and God bless.